Blackfish here with my second video uh, for my Blackfish Mods channel and I uh, want to talk about adding some additional lice to the uh, Bugs 3 drone here and um, I got these LEDs off of eBay 5 volt RGB LED board 5 volt 1 watt um, I ordered from two different sellers. This one, they weren't that great. Switches, sometimes they didn't work. Two of them didn't work. You have to press down on them for the lights to go. And to turn it on, you got to flip up one of them. And uh, the first one you flip up, they'll be all green. The center one will be all red, and the last one will be all blue. And you mix up the combinations. It's supposed to show a different color, but those don't work that well. And all I did was um, tie it into the uh, bottom identification lighting. And uh, right there, just unplugged it, sliced into the wire, pulled it back a little bit. Be careful because these wires are smaller. And I tied those side LEDs into the front, should be these lights here. And then for the rear light, LED I tied into the front light. Me being in the trucking world, I guess I'd refer to them as identification lights, rear lighting, side lighting, whatever. They work. And um, put that on there and I'll give you an idea of what they look like. Red for right, green in the back, and blue on the side. And I could switch it up, turn it off. There's a red. There's a red. There's two up. See, it's kind of purplish. I just use blue. And it works. And there we go. And um, when you uh, prep your uh, board, your little LED board, I put shrink wrap around it, and it's not going to fit, so you want to stretch it out. Put your needle nose pliers in there, stretch it. You don't want to overdo it, because you'll rip that. Stretch it out, and it should slide over the board. Just like that and slide it all the way up and then shrink it around there and then you use your exacto knife to cut around the uh, LEDs there. And be careful, take your time. You don't want to cut yourself and you don't want to screw up any of your circuitry. I had these on there before, they're all purple. Two of them went out, took them off. And I, you know, they looked really cool, but not my two of them are out. And this one I just tore apart at LED and these are all green and I use this style on the back. A little Velcro, stick it on there. And uh, just, you know, a couple extra things. I made my own little uh, gimbal for my Firefly 1080p. Works fairly well. And some extender legs. This thing looks like a big awesome I guess some kind of black bug mantis and I used a hexabug thing I picked up at Walmart and elk old it was for like 11 bucks comes with a ton of parts 
The little parts, and they work well with the Bugs 3 to come up with other ideas. And these, I, again, I can't find them over there anymore. And I could go out to Boise, Idaho and go to run around all their Walmarts, but I just don't feel like doing that. So, anyway, you can order them online. And two, I picked up some of these H109s and uh, you want me to see what I could do with them? I'll crack one open and see what kind of mods I could do to that. Let me know in the comment section. Uh, give me some likes. I'm just starting out. Anyway, that's about it. Did I cover everything? Shrink tube, 5 volt LEDs, and uh, yeah. Oh, and if you do it, get the hex bug and do that little mod. You're gonna have to add a little bit of metal. Got some screws here. You're gonna have to get some small washers to use a spacer to make that even. And uh, should work out pretty well for you. I like it. Flies good. And then. The total weight on this is something like 10 or some odd grams compared to the bugs uh, landing gear and then their big old uh, for the uh, to do the GoPros, you know, it's really light. It flies like a dream with all the stuff on it. Um, that's about it. Um, Blackfish out here on the Indian Reservation in Hawaii, Nevada. Alright guys, take care and fly safe out there. Don't crash your drones, eh?